Hello, coolers, and welcome back to another interesting episode of Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. Guys, in this episode, we are going to be discussing on some interesting recent developments for FC Barcelona. Of course, we are going to be discussing on this report from Cadena SER that are claiming that Barcelona are looking to execute two massive pay cuts, you know, by the end of this week. And of course, according to that report, they are trying to say that Barcelona want to go for Felipe Coutinho and Samuel Umtiti, you know, to negotiate with them over a pay cut in the coming days. Of course, we know our club is still um, financially um, down. And of course, Laporta is still looking ahead, you know, to balance things up at the moment, at least because we know three of our captains have already taken a pay cut. And apart from them, none other players, but now Laporta is trying to go for Samuel Umtiti and Felipe Coutinho to see if they can negotiate for a pay cut in the coming days. So we're going to be discussing on that report as we move ahead. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about Gerard Piquet, who recently had an interview with ESPN, where he spoke on many, many topics. You know, he spoke about the upcoming El Clasico, the crucial El Clasico. He spoke a lot about it. He spoke about Sergio Aguero. He spoke about Barcelona's young stars and also spoke about the return of fans. We are going to be discussing on that as well. So, colors, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and please make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. According to reports from Cadena SER, Barcelona will try to reduce the wages of Felipe Coutinho and Samuel Umtiti in the coming days. Joan Laporta announced the club's delicate financial situation during the summer transfer window when the club were forced to take some drastic measures, you know. The COVID pandemic combined with monumental mismanagement of finances by the previous board left FC Barcelona in a shambolic economic state. The club could not renew Lionel Messi's contract despite the Argentine's desire to stay. Moreover, the club could not even register the new signings owing to a very high wage bill. The solution found by the board was to reduce the wage bill by asking players to take wage cut. Gerard Piquet stepped forward immediately and took a massive decrease in salary to help Barcelona register their new arrivals. The other captains followed suit soon, with Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba taking pay cuts as well, you know, and Roberto too coming out to say he was willing to do so. Yet, the side has multiple players on astronomical wages, two of whom are Felipe Coutinho and Samuel Umtete. Moreover, neither of the players is a starter in the team. It is a priority for the ball to reduce their wages, and this week seems to be the time for its execution. Umtete has not even played a minute this season. The Frenchman announced his return to fitness in the summer, only to return to the sidelines without playing a minute. The reduction in wages still come as a significant relief to FC Barcelona's board. It will help the management by facilitating any future transfers by rendering them hassle-free. Then on to the next story of discussion. Gerard Piquet spoke to ESPN ahead of the upcoming El Clasico. The captain talked about the young team, the team's ambitions and the transition of the club. You know, so this is what he said. On El Clasico, he said, yeah, of course, because of the rivalry between the clubs, it's not just sport, it's something else. Though, there are a lot of players who have left and a new generation coming in. Still, the meaning of this game is above everything. The stadium will be full and will, it will be a tough game. Then on the fans' presence, he said, yes, the fans play a key role here. In the past year and a half, we didn't have the opportunity to play with a full crowd. It will be great for us to be able to play with them and also for them to enjoy these games that are not the same on TV. Then on whether it's the most open classical, he said, it's true that it classical is always an open game. It doesn't matter how we come or they come from. It's a new game, totally different from the results we have been getting in the past few weeks. It's true that we had more ups and downs and maybe suffered a little bit more because we are in a process where the young kids are getting experience and older ones are leaving the club. But I think we will compete for titles, we will compete for the league, and Sunday is an opportunity to see where we are. Then on the young team, he said, it's a great thing to have, especially the young team. They will need some time to adapt and get that experience, but the talent is there. It's only a matter of time before we compete for big titles. I'm not saying we won't compete for any titles this year, but these kids, you need some time with them. Let's give them the importance of playing these kinds of games. Even though it is risky, 
I think they will perform very well. Then on Kun Aguero, he said, Kun has been playing in the Premier League for a long time, even Atletico Madrid, but he never had the opportunity to play a game like this. It will be fun if he plays some minutes. You know, he has a lot of experience. He can score goals and can help us a lot. Then on which young player surprises PK the most, he said, Honestly, all of them, because they are all very young, normally play a start, you know, playing well at the age of 20, 21 or 22. But these kids, they are 17, 18. I mean, it is amazing. Normally, you are playing with the under-19s, but they are already playing with the first team. I think we need to allow them to make mistakes. We have bad games. But for Barcelona, this is an incredibly good thing. So guys, with that, we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you did enjoy the video. I also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. So you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.